You know those powerful little devices we carry in our pockets, our smartphones? They do a lot. From pushing high-quality graphics to running apps smoothly, it's all thanks to one key thing, the processor inside. And right now, there's a big battle going on behind the scenes, between the processors from Samsung and Qualcomm. In this video, we're going to look at some fresh leaks and early test results that give us a sneak peek at what could be the next big face-off in mobile chips. We're talking about Samsung's upcoming chip, the Exynos 2600, and what it could bring to the next Galaxy S26 series. These early numbers matter, even if they're still raw, because they give us a quick look at how future phones might perform. That means smoother gaming, faster apps, and better overall performance. Now, here's the big surprise. In one of the first tests, the Exynos 2600's graphics actually seem faster than its main rival, the Snapdragon 8 Elite. That's a big deal. The leak came from a reliable source on X, formerly Twitter, who shared results from a test benchmark called 3D Mark Steel Nomad Lite. This test focuses on the GPU, the part of the chip that handles graphics like games and animations. According to the test, the Exynos 2600 scored 3135 points with an average frame rate of 23.23 FPS. The Snapdragon 8 Elite scored 2681 points with an average frame rate of 19.87 FPS. So what does this mean? If you do the math, the Exynos GPU, called Xclipse 960, is about 15% faster than Snapdragon's Adreno 830 GPU in this specific test. That sounds impressive, right? And it is, but there's an important catch. These numbers didn't come from a phone. They were taken from a test board, basically a bare circuit used in labs to test chips. These boards have great cooling and ventilation, unlike real phones, which are slim and heat up quickly. So performance on the test board shows the chip's full power, but not how it will behave inside a phone that gets hot and has to manage battery life. So even though the Exynos 2600 looks stronger right now, that 15% advantage might not feel that big in everyday use, especially for regular things like scrolling through apps or watching videos. For gamers or video editors, it could make a small but helpful difference. But again, if the chip overheats or slows down inside a phone, that lead might disappear. And that's the real challenge for Samsung, taking this powerful chip and making sure it runs well inside an actual phone without getting too hot or draining the battery. Still, we shouldn't ignore the good news. These early results show that Samsung's Exynos and Xclipse GPU are definitely strong and ready to compete with Qualcomm again. As for the release, Samsung usually announces their new Exynos chip just a few weeks before the Galaxy S series launch, which means we might hear more before January. So what does all this mean for you? Well, the Exynos 2600 scored higher than the Snapdragon 8 Elite in this graphics test, showing it's got some serious power. But the real question is, can Samsung keep that performance steady in a real phone? That's what will matter most when you're holding the Galaxy S26 in your hand. And maybe the bigger question is, how much does all this power really matter to you? Do you care more about numbers, or how smooth and reliable your phone feels every day? That's the real thing to think about. 